Welcome to the Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And I'm Munchkin of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. And this weekend we're working on... The bottom left corner of the Fantasy Fun Quilt. You can see it there. It's kind of the, the two grays. There's a light gray and a dark gray, but they kind of look like the same. But uh, they are different, and you'll see that when you uh, read your instructions on how to put it together. So it's very cute. We have part of it done already. Would you like to show them, Munchkin, please, what we've completed so far? There's one of the trees that is the representation of this tree down here and the section that it is built out in. So I can tell, you can see that there's a, a difference between the light and the dark of the grays. Okay, and then of course there's a bit, tiny little bit in the corner there of the starting of the sky right up there. So we're going to finish building out this tree here and then we're going to build this whole bottom row right here. Okay, so it's kind of, uh, it's easier to sew them in sections. So this to me would be section number one or A complete, whatever Munchkin decides it's going to be. And then now we're going to work on section two or B and then there's section three or C. Okay, so we have pretty much most of the tree built already. We have this part of the branches and this of the top part. So what we need to do is build the other little leaves for it, all right? Let's put that there. Thank so I'll you. hand them to you right sides together. Thank you very much. Uh, just making sure I did it right. Um, which is this, oh, this one down here? Yeah. Great, thank you. Thankfully this log is a lot easier to put together than the last one. Whereas there was partial seams in the last one, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. It's a couple. I think there was a couple. Doesn't matter. It's a good challenge for us. Yeah. Gotta keep your skills up. Okay, if you'd be so kind as to press that, and then we'll okay. line it up against the, um, I guess the stalk of the tree or the middle of the tree, and put it side down. And so then we'll add the, the trunk. trunk. Well, no, this trunk is down here. Mm -hmm. Technically, in trees, the trunk goes all the way up. Well, that's true. That's true. But I guess in uh, in these quilting trees, they don't. <laughs> Thank you. So behind me here, we have uh, all of the previous months so far. Uh, this one right here being the first one, the top left corner. Uh, the second one being the uh, bottom middle, um, a nice tower. Um, the first one being a bit of a skyscape with the beginnings of something that's to be shown in some of the later blocks. And over here, which was a bit difficult, uh, is the tree in the sky block, also known as the uh, upper left, but not the corner, as this one actually goes below this one in the terms of the quilt. And the block that we're working on today actually goes directly to the left of the center one. Be so kind as to press that, please. Both sides, here and here. So I put it there. Please, thank you. And then we'll put the bottom half on. And then we'll start building that bottom rope. Okay. <laughs> Looks good. Now it should be relatively safe to put this one and the second months together. Oh yeah. Yes. I didn't know that. As. <laughs> It'll make it so you don't have as long of a distance to stitch along the quilt. I'm just lining up those little seams, the ones that are going to form the uh, base of the tree and the leaves, because they're half square triangles, and we could line them up seam-wise to make them look just a little prettier. And I'll start building up the bottom part. Please. 
go. There we go. There's our other little tree. Isn't that nice? I like the, I like the two trees. They're very nice. Mark. One, two. Uh, so this goes here? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. Just want to make sure. Just trying to pre-plan it out a little bit. I appreciate it. And then this goes right this on top of this one, doesn't it? I might have to trim that out a little bit. Yeah, no. Okay, a little bottom one. If you give that a press, I'll give that a little trim. Looks like it's just a little, um, little bit off. Maybe just a smidge. Okay, thank you. Very nice. I like that. Those, those two together look really nice. Very nice. You like <laughs> the diamond-shaped shrub? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what that was. <laughs> it's a shrub. It's a shrub? Okay. I wasn't going to question. It's your design. <laughs> I wanted to put a shrub. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just do that little trimming off the edge here. When you design your own quilts, you can, uh, if you want to put something somewhere, you can. <laughs> it's your quilt. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, because that goes that way, right? It goes on the bottom? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Triple check. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need no Mr. Seam Ripper today. Well, here's hoping not. <laughs> I've already used it several times. <laughs> well, in that case, he needs a break. <laughs> we can have a break for the duration of this video. <laughs> here we go. So here we go. We have another one. Okay, that's just going to sew down the yep. seam right here. Okay. Very nice. Thank you for your help. Give you that to press, and I'll take the next piece to sew. That's those two right down the edge. Thank you very much. We all need a munchkin in the shop, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Makes life so much easier. Things go twice as fast. Ooh, that's a nice seam. Check that out. Mm -mm -mm. Varnish. Okay, give that a little press, and then which. I can sew these two together? Yeah. Yep. Okay, thank you. Now, I do want to say sorry for uh, the late release of the instructions of the last block. That was due to a clerical error on my part. And then this one right here? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to sew those two while you press that one? Mm. And then we can sew the other two together. Cool, mm -hmm. thank you very much. And then we'll put them together. Yep. And then we'll put them together. There's your shrub. That is cute shrub. <laughs> it's very shrub like. Shrub. Shrub. <laughs> really? I don't know. I heard that somewhere. Okay. So down there. Okay. And then we need to put those two together. options for applique in this block would be uh, first. <laughs> hey, go ahead sorry would be to maybe doing applique animals along the light green line would you mind holding it up mom uh, which is we mm -hmm. like here yeah like oh. just holding up one of the pieces and pulling it out well I'll try to put it this way because we haven't attached it yet so fair enough just, so they can possibly see it so putting little critters along here, yeah. along that line or in that space. Little critters, That'd maybe cool. uh, maybe a bird or something up Ooh. here. Ooh. Uh, a dragon? Yeah. Flying dragon? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, let's put this so we can uh, pin it and uh, sew it down. And get this beautiful April's block together, which is called bottom left corner. <laughs> And then someone not, else comes up with a better name. <laughs> not all of them can have fancy names. <laughs> Just trying to line up those really crucial seams of where uh, things need to meet. 
right? It makes the visual block complete. Here, I'm just going to put in as many as you need. This is a long stretch to sew, so put as many as you need. Okay. Just keep it nice and steady. Everything lined up. Okay. out before you get to them. Loving my new little pin cushion. The easy things like this. I got another one, I think it's the one that Grace and Bella made me. Oops. It's just over there on the side. Alright, there we go. We'll give that a press. But look at that. Isn't that neat? Alright, and we just have to add the bottom part. We'll take mm -hmm. it out first, okay? And this one is relatively easy to put together. I mean, it didn't take very long. Just put it, build out your sections, and then attach the sections together, and that'll make a nice, complete block. Um, do be consciously aware of the color changes. I ended up cutting more of the dark, which, because of here, the transition was very... I didn't really... I didn't. I was looking at it and thought I thought I was cutting the right one, but I was cutting the wrong one. So uh, between the two grays, and especially when it came up for the color patches here. So that's okay. <laughs> Extra scrap to build the border <laughs> if it needs. Very nice. Very nice. Let me put that up. We'll grab some more pins. Mm, pin it. Mm, pin it. Mm, looks like a little we might need a bit of bit of a trim. Okay, well let's take it off this side then. I'll let you do that. And like with the rest of the of the block, uh, always trim on the longest side. Make sure you're not actually cutting our project. Okay. Okay, so the straight line. Got a new blade in there. Just be careful. And always be very careful with your rotary cutter. Exactly. Very nice. Continue. Just popped up. Did you like the pin? <laughs> Work from that end. Okay. okay. Make sure our shrub looks shrub like. We make sure match them with those seams. They're very important. It's a bit seam sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> you and your terminology. You're making up words now. <laughs> Just like mom. <laughs> I do have my own dictionary. <laughs> Okay, perfect. All right, all good in the hood? We are. Now we get to attach this bottom part, and our block for April is done. Lower left corner, but you could attach it to the second, which was the point center. Point, the center. Oh, when we get the center done? The oh, center's the center. right there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I just want to make sure. Do you want to attach it now? Do you want to attach it today so people can see, or what? You can do it if you like. You. Let's just the, just show them side by side for now. Okay. Mm. Munchkin was here. Just a piece of paper. Okay, now we've got our 
we do. Oh, we do really good on that shrub. Okay, give that a little press first, and then we'll show it where it needs to go. Sorry, got a fluffies. Let's pet the camera now. Fluffies up my nose. Oh, nose. <laughs> I like that base of the tower. It looks really cool. Yeah, it turned out really well. Good teamwork. Yeah, it was. Oh, like that? Yeah. Oh, very nice. I like that. That looks cool. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. It's actually scooting this a little bit away. So there we go. Okay, you can see that all without being folded by the machine. So you can see where the the grass mm -hmm. layers line up. Yeah, you could really do some funky applique there. Even maybe put a wagon out front or a wagon wheel or, you know, a couple of hydrangea plants. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you like. <laughs> but re motioning some grass and stuff like that would be really fun, especially with the uh, variegated yeah. thread. Very nice. Good to, uh, good to have some fun details. All right. Okay. Are we done? I believe so. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching, liking, and subscribing. And don't forget to check out, check, check out our Patreon. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we will see you tomorrow, Saturday at 1 p.m., for our live stream. We're starting a new project, and it's really super cute. Take care, everybody. Have a great day, and we will see you later.